That's a pile of takeoff parts. I'm Ryan Cruzy, Cruzy Originals, and I'm back working on the giveaway bike. This bike is already live. You can win this bike as we build it. You just have to go donate money to the coastxcoast.org, Coast to Coast Foundation, which is a veteran organization that raises money to get PTSD and TBI treatment for combat veterans coming home from combat. It's based out of Texas, where the treatment facility is. It's a really, really good cause, and every $100 you donate to that cause, Get you a chance to win this motorcycle and it's all tax deductible so it's kind of a win for everybody all the way around and i get to build dope shit so that's what i like to do um it go it ends may 10th so you have until may 10th 2023 to get in on this if you don't get in on it by then you're shit out of luck but we're gonna have this thing built i should have this thing done in about four weeks everything is mocked up and ready for paint today i'm gonna start tearing the front end apart and assembling part of the front end I have a front wheel mocked up and some brakes that we were kind of looking at, but that's not what we're going to run. We're going to run a different rotor brake setup that's going to be a little more accessible time-wise because we are on a serious, serious time crunch. When doing a national sweepstakes giveaway like this, it has to be on a very tight time frame that the government allots us to use. So we are on biker build-off <laughs> style time frame. I have five weeks to finish and build this bike right now. Can I do it? Yeah, I can do it. Can I get any sleep in the process? No, I can't. But, but other than that, it's going to be awesome. Jake is also in Hawaii, so Trent is filming, and I'm going to be doing probably editing this video. So if it's as good as it not normally is, eh, you know, who knows? Maybe it will be. I might be good at it. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. Anyways, what we've done so far, the last video, I set up our bag rails because it's going to be running our Cruise Originals dime bags. We got some 14 inch Legends Arcs heavy duties. I have a Santora, the back part of the Santora cage. And the front part, I put this on yesterday after work and we pulled the tank apart. These are just the parts so far. Everything on this bike, everything we're going to be building on this bike is going to be available on cruiseoriginals.com. That's what works for us. We get to use this as a marketing piece to sell our products and other people's products on our website, and we get to raise a whole lot of money for veterans, which is an awesome cause that we get behind very strongly. Also, while you're at their website donating to enter to win this, they have other stuff for sale there, merch, and that also money also goes to help combat vets coming home to get PTSD and TBI treatment. If you don't know what TBI treatment is, that is brain trauma treatment. Like... If you know anything about concussions and heavy duty brain trauma, it can cause a lot of issues down the road. These are the wounds that we don't necessarily see, but they still need to be healed. So, on that note, let's get to work, huh? Hey guys, uh, so I just tore the whole fairing and all that stuff. This is the first M8 Street Glide that I've worked on. I've done lots of, I've done a million Street Glide twin cam ones back in the day, but not an M8 one. And pulling a Street Glide fairing off used to be a nightmare. It is super easy. I just did that whole tear down in like 30 minutes. It was real nice, real simple, very straightforward. Plug and play. Everything's kind of condensed down to two or three plugs instead of a mass of shit underneath the fairing. Now I'm going to pull the trees. Actually, I'm going to get the geezer glide trees out. Kind of set them up here. Make sure all the mounting points are there, which I'm sure it's all the same stuff. And then I'm going to pull all that off. I'm going to set the trees up. And I think I have some powder-coated fork legs already. I need to go check on our powder coat supply shelf back there. 
And if I do, I'm probably going to get the whole front end built today. Except for brake rotors, because we're going to run 11.8 rotors instead of 13s, because we can't get radio mount calipers in time. They're on kind of a back order right now. So, or if they're not back order, it just takes too long, and I need to keep moving forward. So, we're going to run just a smaller brake rotor, stock size instead of the big one, which will look a little better with the 19-inch the wheel anyways. And I can have all that shit set up, the handlebars set up, get the front end back together. I'll make some serious progress today. We're cooking. Mm -hmm. Fucking yeah. cooking. It'll be beautiful. Uh, on that note, I'm going to get back to it and keep on plugging away. go about this all this ABS shit sucks it really sucks the bikes got ABS I hate ABS it's about as lame as it gets on a motorcycle closing time fresh start on a new day so finish your whiskey or beer I know who I want to take me home. Fucking flies. These are Geezer Glides 49mm trees. We've got a different rake and trail, which corrects the shitty rake and trail. I have the stock Harley Davidson set up. That goes like that. I'm going to put the pullback plate in it first off. Everything clears. Dialed. Um, what do we got? Is this on our website? Uh, I don't think so. I'll get it on by the time the video's up though. Well, that's the Kraus pullback plate. It's real nice. We've had quite a few people say, you don't need a pullback plate on a street glide. Well, if you don't want to do it right, you don't need a pullback plate on a street glide. You can just uh, jam the old boy up in there and cut the stereo out or run it through the nacelle. But this just looks a lot better and this brings the bars right back into a really nice position. drops in like that. I don't know what it came with these things for. Some solid riser bullshit. We've got the titanium ones. Where are they? Behind the grips. Aye. These are Geezer Glide also. These aren't on the website either, but if you call the shop, this is all available. These are titanium and polyurethane. Titanium bolts, so it's all one piece. The bolt, the bottom bushing. Titanium, these weigh nothing. And they're super strong, super durable which is super nice. But I'm gonna torque this bad boy up on here. These guys go down here. Duh. Comes with some nice hardware. These a little bit of juice. I'm going to torque these to 45 foot pounds. Oh. 
It's the most ideal way to torque something to 45 foot pounds. That's a, <laughs> that's a lot of torque. But you can't, it's hard to do on the bike because it's hard to get to those bolts. So if you can get them in ahead of time, it definitely helps. I'm just gonna snug these down so I can have an even, even platform. These are TC Bros straight risers. We normally run pullbacks, but the last few street glides that I've done, I've ran this pullback plate with like a 10 inch or eight inch straight riser, with a mid bend bar, and it feels phenomenal. So we're gonna stick with that. God, I need a new arm real bad. If anybody wants to loan me one. Look at that. That's that's full thread engagement right there. These two are forty five foot pounds. foot pounds is real serious when you don't have the leverage to hold it in place god damn it's killing killing the old arms they'd be tired and shit all right look at that that is set up I'm gonna have to drill out the bars. This looks centered. Four oh four on at like twenty psi. You were sticking, right? Dude, it was like inconsistent. Did, like it was real hard to initiate, and then as soon as it went, it would just go. That was the worst shit I've ever rode, dude. It was so dude, so hands, sketchy. Hands down, the worst shit. And that was that that spot's always been really good too. I don't know if it was just dusty as or what. But it was the 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 crack filler, dude. dude that's exactly what that it shit's was. always been there, but. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't hold, I could J-turn, that was about it. Yeah, but you were drifting still. At least, like, the whole width of the road. Yeah, I but. I couldn't get that. That was all, and that was damn near off a limiter. <laughs> I'd come off a limiter and just whop, and let it slide, and then just let off. And it was just, yeah, <laughs> and then fucking going. I have the shift. I have. The shaft. You found the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just slide it up one side and snug it up there so that shit don't flop around on me. Oh, what size are these? He's got the shaft. It's He's beautiful. Got the shaft. Have you introduced your followers to your band yet? To my band? Yeah. Weren't you in a band? Oh, I was. A couple. I don't really have anything from it though, like two songs, that's about it. No? I sneak them into some videos from time Do to time. Do you? Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, every once in a while there's a little bit of a chalk and the slee stacks in there. Chalk and the slee stacks. Just let them know what time it is. You got a wedge? Mm. 
Yeah, in my toolbox. Yeah. Top one. Just the bottom one. That's good enough. I just wanted to hold everything in place. She's got the look. What in the world can make your brown eyes turn blue? Great job. This is going to be muted, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. probably okay, yeah. good. Music montage. <laughs> Off right after I put them on. I always like the, uh, my favorite one is the 401. Nice. Love the Fuck yeah, hands down. Best on tire ever. Yep. Really? Um, and yep. then the 402. I, once and it was so slick. I love the 402s. It's a yep. little bit slippier. Yeah. It depends. Like if you're running a freshy 401, like a new one, amazing. Dude, Great tire. Oh, no, I've only ever used the uh, best tire out. They dry rot real fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've only used That's just the used problem one. with them. But dude, a, try a Metzler Cruise Tech. It's better than a fucking Dunlop. But so I'm calling it a day. This is where we're at so far. I got the trees on. The bearings are not set because I need to. Put the fork legs in and all that shit to set the neck bearings. But I need to tear, tear the forks apart, get the fork legs powder coated, and then we're gonna do Legends cartridges with two overs in the front. This thing's gonna be really tall too, so the kickstand's not gonna work anymore. We have an extended one coming. Pullback plate is on, torqued and done. Handlebars are on, torqued and done. Wiring is through. I'm not sure, I'm gonna get the fairing on and mock some stuff up. I think I'm gonna have to put wire extensions on these. It doesn't look like these are long enough. Which we have those in stock, right? Mm -hmm. Wire extensions, grips, uh, I could put the levers on and do that stuff, but god damn, dude, I, we worked from six till midnight yesterday and we're back in here at nine o'clock this morning. So I'm a little tired, a little burnt out. I'm gonna go lay in my backyard and work on my computer for the rest of the day and all day tomorrow, probably. With that being said, remember, you can win this bike. This bike's gonna be dope. You know it's gonna be dope. We build dope shit. And it's for a good cause. You're supporting vets that went out and did stuff that we couldn't even imagine for us so we can do rad shit like this. So go to coasttocoast.org. There'll be a link down in the bio. I'll put a link up here somewhere, somewhere throughout the video if I can get it dialed. For every $100 you donate, enters you in a chance to win. You have until May 10th. That's when it ends and the drawing will go down after that. It is all run through a national sweepstakes company. They will be picking the winner. However, national sweepstakes companies do that. And also while you're on the website, buy a t-shirt from them, do something, help them out. It all goes money towards helping out combat veterans. It's good shit. So get off the couch, go out, do something rad. Thank a vet every time you meet one. Cruzyoriginals.com for everything you need and want on this bike. And thank you again. Peace. <laughs>